Oh, no, have some quiet, please. Have some quiet. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Thank you. Uh, now, uh, on this uh, auspicious, uh, uh, on the uh, uh, on the auspicious, uh, um, on this bloody great big occasion, I I'd just like to say uh, just one or two words. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, I'm not allowed to, so I'll say some other ones. Uh, congratulations, Trev, uh, to you. Uh, Trev's 21 today, of course, and uh, I think I'd probably uh, go uh, carry all your wishes uh, in agreeing 100% uh, uh, to go along with me uh, on that particular one. Now, uh, Trev's uh, been around for a while. I've known him for a fair while. I can remember him when he was just a sandy-haired little cretin running about the place, uh, stuffing his pudgy little fingers into the wall sockets, and uh, it stood out like a moment of fun at a Frank Ifield concert that he wasn't a normal child. He wasn't a normal child by any manner of means. And I think I probably speak for us all uh, on that particular one. Now, um, Trev, uh, it wasn't always easy, was it, son? And uh, now Trev knows this, uh, and Trev's uh, father knows this, uh, Trev's brothers know this, and of course uh, Trev's mother knows this, as a matter of fact, to her cost. Uh, suffice it to say, though, that he did distinguish himself at an early age, uh, although he got into some trouble uh, at the bike sheds at the school, uh, with, matter of fact, with uh, Nolene Bayless. And uh, I can remember it... Oh, I can't tell that story. Can't tell that story. Uh, However, upon leaving school, uh, Trev uh, did do very well, became a, a traveller in manure, and uh, well, he was also actually a traveller in uh, deodorants, which I think might have been uh, part of his success. And uh, to be perfectly Francis with you, he distinguished himself again. Uh, would somebody please take uh, Mrs Bayless out of the wool press? Thanks. Uh, he distinguished himself there. I can remember a time uh, with uh, Shirley and Bayless, matter of fact, in the back of the ute, and I found them down. I can't tell that story. I'd better not tell that story at the present point of time. I think that story's probably uh, out of all contention. Uh, he was, of course, uh, a source uh, of enormous pride uh, to his enormous uh, to uh, to uh, his mother, of course, and uh, to a lesser degree, of course, to himself. And uh, I think I probably uh, you'll probably agree with me 100% uh, in going along with me wholeheartedly. I probably, and uh, I think I carry with us uh, the wishes of all myself in going along uh, with us all in joining with me on that particular one. Um, now. Uh, there is uh, a ton of comestibles out the back. Uh, the place is fair groaning with them, and uh, there's uh, a fair few acres of sludge. And uh, at the present point in time, it's my uh, desire that you tear into it. Um, suffice it to say, uh, in conclusion and finally, uh, that I should conclude by um, actually finally pointing out that Trev's uh, gone from strength to strength. Uh, strength to strength is uh, more or less what Trev's gone uh, from and to. And uh, suffice it to say, at the present point in time, uh, that uh, the very best of luck, Trev. The very best of luck, my boy, uh, in all you do. And I think I probably speak for us all there in going along with myself, in joining with myself, uh, in going along wholeheartedly, I think, uh, uh, in joining together on that particular one. So uh, it's good luck, Trev, and uh, the very best of luck to you, uh, Trev, and um, jolly good luck. Uh, all the best. Uh, um, good luck. And uh, I probably think that uh, you'll all here uh, agree with me more or less 100%. Uh, in going along with me, uh, in joining with myself, uh, in going along with uh, Trev's mother and I, as a matter of fact, uh, in uh, joining myself in, in concurring, probably, uh, with that view on that particular one. <sighs> Good luck, Trev.